Greetings traveler and welcome to another one of my speed builds. For today our travels bring us to Solani and we're building the ruins. So what are the ruins you ask me? Well it's actually a real life building also known as the ruins and it's in the Philippines and I'm about to read a few things about this place from Wikipedia so just a disclaimer this is Wikipedia so the information here might not be 100% accurate the ruins is the remain of the ancestral home mansion of the family of Don Mariano Ledesma Laxon and Maria Braga Laxon it is situated in Talisay Philippines the mansion was built in the early 1900s and inspired by Italian architecture. But I'm skeptical about this last bit of information because this mansion was built during the Spanish colonial era of the Philippines, so it looks more Spanish colonial to me than Italian. Maybe it does have some Italian influence. And plus, in The Sims, I also like mostly used the colonial set by Felix Andre, so I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments. So uh, who was this Don Mariano? He was a wealthy sugar businessman. He built the mansion in memory of his Portuguese wife Maria, who died during the birth of their eighth child. Eighth. So why is it called The Ruins and why is it in this state? It is because it was actually burnt down during World War II. Filipino guerrillas burned it down as a countermeasure to prevent the invading Japanese forces from using it as a military headquarters. It burned down for three days straight with the intention of completely burning down, burning it to the ground. which obviously didn't happen. If you're wondering about what happened to this place, um, it is now known as the ruins or as the Taj Mahal of Talisay or Taj Mahal of the Philippines and it's actually in the private ownership of the great-grandchildren of Don Mariano and Cora Maria Osorio Rosa Braga. God these people had some really long names. Um, I'm assuming that's his second wife since it's a different name, but I'm not sure. So they have preserved it in its ruined state as a tourist attraction and that can be visited for a fee or hired for events. So you can go there and pay a fee and have a tour of the place. I'm not sure what is in the inside, if they have anything in there or if it's just like empty, but do let me know if you are Filipino and if you've ever been there before. So those are the ruins for you and I was particularly excited about this build because I am half Filipino and I've never built anything that's Filipino inspired before. The way I built this place is almost identical to the real ruins, um, but specifically the front and the right side of this place, I did improvise on the other two sides because I have no idea what the real building looks like from those two sides, but I also wanted it to have this like very open concept as the real building does. Obviously the real building isn't a house and no one lives there but I wanted it to be an inhabitable place in The Sims or at least a rentable place because I did uh, build this with the intention of it being a rental home, vacation home. Um, so I'm thinking like this is either a honeymoon spot or a summer home for a certain family. So most of the rooms are pretty open and they have a fence and these arches instead of an actual wall. And I don't know how that works in terms of gameplay. Um, 
the weather outside might affect your sims if they're in those open rooms, but I'm not sure. But some of the rooms are actually closed from all four sides, so you can renovate this house however you want. If you want more closed rooms, you can just get rid of these fences and replace them with some actual walls and windows. So I'm guessing that it's autumn for most of you right now and the weather is cool and the trees are turning into different shades of red and brown and yellow but unfortunately that's not the case here in the Emirates or in Dubai. Um, it's a pretty hot country so it's still very very hot even now. The weather most days goes up to uh, between 35 and 40 degrees Celsius and if you're not a Celsius person then I can't help you I'm sorry um, so I was at the beach like the other week and I'm it's still summer here so uh, this build does make sense to me still and I did promise you more builds in Solani this year which um, it was a promise that I didn't stick to so I thought that I owe you at least like one more summary build. This uh, Hey Gazebo is from Rustic Sims new set and I absolutely love it. The set also comes with some very beautiful ceiling lights. You're gonna see those. Um, I, I actually used one in the gazebo but I'm gonna use that pretty frequently in this build. Um, there also is a sectional that comes with that set and when I saw that sectional I got like pretty excited about using it but after downloading it I realized that it isn't striped like how it looks in the photo it's just plain pattern so I was a bit disappointed about that and decided to not use the sectional that comes with that set I don't know if that's like a mistake or intentional but yeah I was very disappointed I really wanted it to be striped so the interior is very much a mix of modern and traditional and I wanted it to have some Filipino elements or tropical elements like bamboo and rattan and just boho and st inspired stuff in general and clay and we also have this big spread of food in the kitchen because Filipinos do love food so much even more than Arabs I'd say I mean Arabs do love food a lot but like Filipinos can easily beat them and after living here in Dubai with my Filipino family I just realized how much I am out of touch with my Filipino half. I literally know absolutely nothing about my Filipino culture and heritage and how Filipino people are and how they think. But I'm absolutely happy to finally be able to uh, get in touch with this half of mine. Like, even though my mom is Filipino, she didn't really teach me about anything about being a Filipino or about their culture or most of their foods. I only know a few things and it's kind of embarrassing and I don't even know the language but I'm glad to finally be able to learn about all these things. For example, uh, Filipinos eat a lot of rice. That applies to Asians in general and I always knew about this, but I never realized just how much rice they eat. It's 
three times a day and sometimes even for dessert or for a snack and I've never eaten this much rice in my life. For Arabs it's bread mainly that's being eaten throughout the day but for Filipinos and Asians it's rice. Arabic food does comprise of rice also. Some of the dishes have uh, rice as a necessity, but they mostly rely on bread in their diet. I'm like neither a bread or a rice person. I eat, I think, like a mix of both, but I'm definitely not used to eating rice three times a day and not eating bread at all. So yeah, that's uh, just one of the differences between my Arabic half and my Filipino half. I changed the floor plan of the second floor so many times because I just didn't know how to deal with it. This place is very huge, especially for a vacation home because they're not supposed to be this big, but yeah, it's pretty huge and this uh, second floor is has a very open floor plan, like except for the bedrooms and bathrooms, but it's pretty open and I didn't really know how to, how to fill it. So I put the living room here and a painting corner and a piano corner and also a jacuzzi. And one of the rooms here is also a sauna room. And there are also two bedrooms so you can do whatever you want with those. You can also transform one of the bedrooms into something else if you'd like. I'm really sorry about the noise in the background. It's probably pretty noisy today. Um, but it's because of the room I'm recording this voiceover and it's quite noisy, so I apologize about that. I think the downside for the bedrooms is that they're both pretty open. So if you want, you can just close one or both of them up and add a wall. This bedroom is my favorite. It has um, a massage table in the middle, which I quite like. And I just really like the layout of this bedroom. And it also has this ensuite bathroom, which is pretty spacious. And I really love it. If you've watched my videos before, I always complain about bathrooms and not liking to make them, but this one is one of my favorite bathrooms I've ever made. Also, if you download this and decide to close up one of the bedrooms, then please let it be the other one, not this one, because in this one I used the curtains from the Grove set by Felix Andre, which are animated so they kind of like sway in the wind and that looks absolutely beautiful and realistic with these open arches so I think it looks really cool and if you want to change one of the bedrooms then it's definitely the other one not this one and before I forget I did use the grow set quite a lot in this build so it's currently not free but it will be free any day now so if you don't have it then don't worry you will be able to download it in a few days or a week or I don't know when but pretty soon.
So yeah, this is the final room of this build and after that we are done. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much to my patrons. You can download these tray files on my Patreon as usual for free and you, you'll also find all the CC links there. Do let me know in the comments what you think about this build and what you would like to see from me in the future and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye!